riots that took place in 1921. It was a, a community of bullies, <coughs> bullying people who uh, wiped out a black part of Tulsa, Oklahoma. There was a, a very renowned uh, psychologist, a professor by the name of Dr. John Hope Franklin, uh, who was from Tulsa, and he had the opportunity to, to talk with him. And 1921, uh, things that took place uh, even before 1957 in, in large groups, uh, I, I think another group was in Detroit, uh, where uh, a, a black community was uh, truly harassed and a number of people were killed. Uh, Detroit riot, I, I can't remember the name, I think that's what it was called. And then in 1957, for this to take place, and the point, the question is about history repeating itself, and we and we're going through this again, as you know, and, and it is taking uh, up to another level. Where there are groups of people that are looked down upon that have finally, uh, it's the oppressed, is 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 that that uh, seems, it, and as one person said to me, you know. There have to be people who feel like that they are better than another set of people. And it, it's unfortunate that we have to live that way. Um, that we, but if we have more dialogue, if we have more talks about these things, if we acknowledge the history that has taken place and say what we can do to change some of that, the acknowledgement is the first step that it really did take place. To be a revisionist of history, it, it says that, you know, it was not that bad. I mean, I, I you know, I, I, I mentioned that among uh, students there at Central. Um, fortunately, we've been able to talk now after the 50th anniversary. And I, I'm getting emails from people who are in that class who have now recognized some of the things that they had done as bullying. And feel, uh, my guess is, they're getting older like me, and we all in the same <laughs> age bracket, so they're trying to get themselves straight for <laughs> But, nonetheless, uh, we have to acknowledge these things and, and teach our children and teach your nieces, nephews, grandchildren. You have to give them an idea of, of what has taken in the past, or has been done in the past, so it does not happen again. And to speak up, I think that that is, is something else that we don't do enough of. Uh, be shoulder to shoulder to someone uh, who, to, to right a wrong. And everybody knows right from wrong, you know? Uh, and most people do, let me put it that way. So we have to keep the feet to the fire with our politicians, with our administrators, with our corporations, uh, be because bullying takes place on all those levels. You know that, managers of, of, of in, in a, a corporation, um, have a way of putting their thumb down on a particular person uh, if they don't want to see them rise above. Uh, you know, it, it comes in so many forms. And what I truly believe is that we do have to acknowledge it and, and, and say we will not tolerate it and, and be responsible for those words find a way to, to have some responsibility to, to, uh, in, in that area. I cannot solve the problems of Ferguson, Missouri, or the Baltimore, Maryland, each city, you know. And I, I went to Ferguson, I want to tell you. And um, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. I, what I read in the paper and then what I saw, all of it didn't didn't jive. Um, the, the, it, it just did not jive. 